All right, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So, I'm extra excited today because it is the first day of brown trout season here in Northern Ireland. I've been waiting for this for ages, phase like ages. You know, it's the first real sign for me that spring's on here or coming into better weather. And of course, where I live, I'm surrounded by rivers that I can't fish for, you know, a number of months over the winter, which is a pain in the neck. But you know how much I love my trout fishing, my lure fishing for them. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Got a new rod. Well, it's a new rod, but it's the same version of the rod that I already have. So it's not so much that it's new, just different. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to testing it out. Um, wobblers today, that's what I'm going to use. Um, I think it's ironic, or at least, I don't know, sentimental or something, coming to the same place that I came to last year for the first day of the season. Done quite well, had a few fish, had a nice one. The video actually done really well, it's like over 8,500 views on it, which is great. But yeah, as I said, it's close to my house, so we're going to hit it. That's the rod, it's the Savage Gear Parabellum, I think it's pronounced, I can't really say it. It's the 3 to 8 gram version. The reason I went for the slightly heavier version is because I'm going to use this as solely my wobbler rod, so a heavier outfit. Um, I've got four of these, and all of the rest of them are all 1 to 5 gram. I use that for area trout fishing and various other things. Fantastic rods, really, really good, and that's why I got another one. So yeah, look, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, here we go, come down to the river. I like this stretch because I usually get it to myself. Um, but these are what I'm going to start with. You've seen me using these loads of times. I've got a few new ones. Hence the reason why it's in the box. And it's the 3D Sticklebait Twitch. 4.5 centimeters. That's 4 grams. It's the sinking version. A few deep holes in this river. Deep corners that I want to get this bad boy into. And uh, yeah, so we're first spot's just up here. Let's go. Here we are. So Sticklebait Twitch is on. The river's really low in all honesty, so I'm not going to go too close to it. There hasn't been a lot of rain over the last few weeks. There was a bit of rain last night, so which has might have put a bit of colour in it, but oh, 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 oh. It's going to take me 10 minutes to get used to the casting again. But anyway, first cast of the season for the brown trout. You forget just how how quickly these uh, these lures shoot out when we cast them. They go like an absolute arrow. But I tell you what, it feels good casting these again. Oh, is that a hit? I've got the waders on too, so any issues with getting snagged or lures getting stuck in trees hopefully not i'll be able to go and get them oh there's a follow there's a follow oh he came right in and chased it and then went so first fish we've seen which is good there's at least we know there's at least one fish in the river. Come on, let's take it again. Over the last few years, trout fishing, I've uh, obviously I've been using wobblers a lot more than than what I did when I first started, and I have to say that the quality of the fish I catch nowadays compared to when I first started trout fishing, it's just night and day. Um, the wobbler, is, it's definitely a big fish bait. You know, the, the bigger fish are obviously a lot more predatory. They tend to want it more than a spinner or a, or a soft plastic or, or such. But that's my tip for anybody that's looking to try and upgrade the size of their trout, is get on the wobblers. It takes a wee while just to figure out the right way to fish them. But once you do, they are awesome. That's a cast. That is a cast. Where's the fish? Come on. A 
I've had a few follows, I've seen a few small fish coming in chasing it, so it's definitely there. There we go, first fish. First fish of the 2023 season. Come on. Let me just get down and wet my hands for all the people that like that sort of thing. Here we go. First fish, look at that. Stunning. Perch are my favorite fish. Probably followed by brown trout. And of course, obviously my beloved pike, but I think, I don't know really why, I just enjoy the, the style of fishing. Barbless hooks, nice and easy, took her out. Thank you for playing. Kiss the first one of the year. Okay, so first one in the bag, not literally, obviously, because <laughs> I don't keep any fish, but you get my drift. Um, give it a few more casts in this spot, and then we'll move on down. Right, so this spot in particular, I always lift a fish or two out of it, but the river's down to its bare bones, so it's going to be difficult. Always usually one hiding either in there or to the pool to the left. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so basically like that. Oh, and they just came off. That's okay. But, you know, I'm looking at that bit of water there. It's a few inches deep. But there's always a fish that likes to hide in there. Um, which is crazy, considering all the depth of it. Just must be a wee slightly deep channel or something, or whatever it is, that tends to hold a fish or two. But again, back to my theory of fishing in the shallow, fast running water, just like that. There we go, there's two fish in that tiny, tiny stretch. All right, settle yourself, settle, 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 settle. Get himself into, he's full of beans. I'm just gonna throw him straight back in. He's just kicking, wants to go. But second fish, thank you. Third fish, if you wanna count the one I dropped off, but each to their own. Let's see if there's any, any more hiding in there. It's crazy how your mind works. I spend all winter looking out the window and saying, please don't rain, please don't rain, please don't rain. And then the spring comes and you start doing a lot more trout fishing and all you're looking out the window going, please give me a bit of rain for a few days, please. <laughs> you can never ever be happy. It's always something that you think that you want to change so it's in your favor. Obviously too much rain is a bad thing, but Oh, just sometimes just a little bit. Get the water up a bit. Get a bit of colour in the water. Again, just a bit of colour, not too much. Just enough to make them stupid. Sun's went away a bit there, maybe that'll help. Come on, trout. Sort of Emphasizes my theory earlier of fishing shallow fast water is probably the way to go today whenever the 
the water's clear. And we can see that lure coming in from 10 feet away, which means they can see me from probably further. Walk out here a bit, which I've never done before, so see if we can get a better cast up around that corner. There we go, that's what we needed. <laughs> Just coming off that fast run. And I couldn't actually cast there from the bank. Look at the goes of that. Wow! <laughs> A very dark color this trout compared to the other ones we've caught. So yeah, super dark compared to the other ones. But welcome all the same. I don't know how many that is now. Three or four. I should have pointed out at the start as well that this is literally only going to be an hour and a half session at most, so I'm not expecting huge numbers. The fact that we've caught a few already anyway, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with, but something just really peaceful about trout fishing especially when you're on your own taking yourself off way into the, the wilderness and all you can hear is the river the birds That's a good fish. We're in the good one. We're in the good fish. <laughs> this is what we wanted. Oh, he's coming towards us. Oh, 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 yeah. That's a lovely fish. A lovely, lovely fish. Look at the size of it. Probably a pound and a half, maybe. But a cracking fish for this river. Cracking fish for the first fish of the year. I want you to be tearing yourself out. I just want to get a picture of you and then let you go. Look at that stonker. Yes, get in. Awesome fish for the first of the year. I want to just take it over here. Let me get the hook side of it, get it back quickly. All right, let's get it back. I wasted no time. Get in. What about that? Over the moon with that. That's uh, one of the biggest fish I've had out of this river. As I said before, this river isn't renowned for giving lots of big fish. Good for numbers, but anything over a pound is a really good fish. And to get it on the first day of the season, uh, yeah, can't be bad to that. So there's one more stretch that I'm going to go to. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of a give it a bit of a blast. Same again, stick with the wobbler. Um, one deep corner. That's where we had the big one last year. Funny enough. And uh, hopefully we get another one, so yeah, let's go. Right, last cast. Make it a good one. 
I wouldn't say that was a good one, but that was a terrible one. I'm stuck on. Right. Can't finish on that. I need one, one decent cast. Don't even know what that bit of water's like down there. I don't recall fishing it very much in the past, but I'll put one cast into it and then we'll go. <laughs> I think. The river's telling me to jog on, to be honest. So we'll listen to it. So that is it. First session for the brown trout season 2023 is done. Um, I really enjoyed that. So it turned about two hours, an hour and a half. I think we ended up five fish, one, one really decent one actually. And a good way to get the, the season started. So as always, thank you very, very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're really getting close to the 6,000 subscribers. It means a lot. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next video.